Hey, welcome back. <laughs> My name is Teddy, and I hope your week in Black Desert has been fun. In this guide, I will be showing you which items you should spend your pearls on. Stick till the end to see which items are not worth spending your hard-earned money on. Jumping right in, value packs are a must-have for both PvP and PvE players. Distant node investment, plus 30% more silver when selling on the central market, and more storage amongst other bonuses means it's something that should always be active. As a bonus, you are given the ability to use all the dies at a moment's notice and change your character's appearance without the need of a coupon. Kama's Blessing and the Secret Book of the Old Moon are another two items that add onto the bonuses that the value pack has. Kama's add more weight for warehouses made and increases the energy regen, while the book adds the remote use of Villa Scrolls while using the Nefhart campsite. One more slot to Stable Wharf and skill reset freely. Next item that you should consider would be at least one outfit. This will increase both combat and skill experience, which can be used all the time, making it a must. Costumes are more life skilling needs, but if you want to get the most out of life skilling, buying the da dum da dum diving suit will increase swim speed and underwater breathing plus 30%. The Venisil set allows you to process from the warehouse without the need to hold the actual item and increase the processing chance. A couple others are good and will help out life skilling, but are not a need. It's worth noting that the accessories and underwear are nice to have and should be bought if you have extra pearls around. This will add plus one luck and increase knowledge gain. Another great investment is inventory space and weight limit. This helps increase the money made from both life scaling and grinding mobs. Family inventory space and weight helps open space and allows all family members to use the items in the family inventory too. This can also be done with town storages, stable slots, worker lodging, and wharf expansions if space is needed for more workers and storing items in towns. The Clorence's travel bag are a must when they are put in the pearl shop, but they are limited to per family. These things can store items in a 16 slot bag. These items have to be those that can be stored in a regular inventory, like say your life skilling gear or your tools for example. Marco's gear bag lets you store gear inside the bag. There are eight slots and can be placed down in a quick slot to easily change between the sets of gear at a moment's notice without needing to pull up each piece in your inventory. The Nefart campsite is a great investment since it's a permanent campsite and allows you to use the villa scrolls without the need to run a Valencia. At least one storage made and a transaction made can speed up storing items either in the warehouse or the town storage making it quicker to sell items. The only pets worth buying would be the hedgehog when it's available since it does increase the items obtained while gathering, the otter or marmot since it does decrease the time needed auto fishing, and maybe the hete for the increased mount experience. Buying a trainer's flute or even a celestial horse calling horn will make sure your mount can be called from either further away or anywhere on the map. And speaking of mounts, buying one costume for your mount will increase the experience gained on it and also speed up the mount speed. For those who managed to stick around this long, yeah, pearl items are a little pay to win and aren't really needed to enjoy the game, but there are some items that stand out in the pearl shop that are a complete waste of your money. These items can be obtained within the game itself, and you can obtain items in game that are better than what you can buy in the pearl shop, making $20 to $40 extremely pricey, especially when you can earn something for free. Costumes such as the Splat Fisher and the Vanilla Riding Attire can be made in game and the versions in game are a lot better than the ones you can buy. Unless going for specific pets, most of the pets in the Pearl Shop are just a cash grab. You do get three while just simply playing the game and you can buy these on the central marketplace extremely easily. Horse training items can be obtained during login events or events making a lot of these just an unnecessary cash grab. 
Same with energy tonics. These can be crafted in game and so many are given to you. I have three stacks just sitting there. If you have a value path enabled, a lot of the beauty is considered worthless. And finally, the furniture. Unless you're trying to go for the investment node, buying the furniture is just for eye candy. So I hope this helps you decide what you should buy in the pearl shop here in 2022. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go continue running dailies for my donkey gear. I hope to see you guys in another Black Desert Online video.